the human and economic costs of disasters are escalating. Climate change, inequality, conflict, and poverty are putting more people at risk and threaten to overwhelm the global humanitarian system. The United Nations held its first ever World Humanitarian Summit in Istanbul, Turkey in May 2016. Over 9,000 participants, 173 member states, and 55 heads of state engaged together in over 150 events and sessions. The summit's agenda outlined simply and eloquently five major points. Prevent and end conflict. Respect rules of war. Leave no one behind work differently to end need, and invest in humanity. Uh, today, the urgency has grown, only grown. A record number of people, 130 million, need aid to survive. More people have been forced from their homes than at any time since the end of the Second World War. We are here to shape a different future. Today, we declare we are one humanity with the shared responsibilities. Let us resolve ourselves here and now, not only to keep people alive, but to give people a chance at life in dignity. As its contribution to the summit, the Baha'i International Community prepared a statement titled Rising Together, Building the Capacity to Recover from Within. It draws on the experience of the Baha'i community, focusing on its activities in relation to community building and how this may help improve responses to natural disasters. We are learning that the work of disaster relief can be unifying and bring out the strength of a community. Assuming ownership of their own development has become a foundational element of Baha'i communities' response to disasters and more broadly in social and economic development. And we have learned that the stronger the pattern of collective life in a community, the greater its resilience. The Baha'i community looks to address how communities can develop capacities which foster greater self-reliance and ownership and move past externally driven aid-based responses to humanitarian crises. A growing body of experience demonstrates that the qualities and capacities that make a community resilient in times of disaster also make it strong and vibrant in times of calm. One humanity, shared responsibility, sees the merits and benefits of living through the oneness of humankind. An area's ability to respond, therefore, has much to do with the capacities attitudes and qualities of community that characterized it long before the rivers rose or the cyclone made landfall. The process of building new models of collective life can be advanced by all segments of humanity, regardless of location, nationality, race, formal education, or other characteristics. The community of nations is realizing the critical need to work more closely to ensure effective responses to humanitarian crisis. Today, this realization led to the world's first humanitarian summit. Tomorrow, it may eliminate poverty, hunger, war, and usher in true world peace.